welcome to May 21st, 2008, the fourth day of the week, the fourth work day of the week. Well, brother, let's get right over into the Lord's Care Ministry, a light shining from above, day 142 of the year 2008. My brethren, be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. Ephesians chapter 6 and verse 10. My grace is sufficient for thee, for my strength is made perfect in weakness. Most gladly, therefore, I would rather glory in my infirmities, that the power of Christ may rest upon me. Therefore, I take pleasure in my infirmities, in reproaches, in necessities, in persecution, in distress for Christ's sake. For when I am weak, then I am strong. 1 Corinthians chapter 2, pardon me, 2 Corinthians chapter 12, verse 9 through 10. I will go in the strength of the Lord God. I will make mention of thy righteousness, even of thine only. Psalms chapter 71 and verse 16. The gospel of Christ is the power of God unto salvation. Romans chapter 1 and verse 16. I can do all things through Christ which strengthens me. Philippians chapter 4 and verse 13. I also labor, striving accordingly, pardon me, striving according to his working, which worketh in me mightily. Colossians chapter 1 and verse 29. We have this treasure in earthen vessels, that the excellency of the power may be of God and not of us. 2 Corinthians chapter 4 and verse 7. The joy of the Lord is your strength. Nehemiah chapter 8 and verse 10. Strengthened with all might according to his glorious power unto all patience and long suffering for joyfulness. Colossians chapter 1 and verse 11. Duties of the believer in the church. United praise teaching and admonishing one another in psalms and hymns and spiritual songs. Sing with grace in your hearts to the Lord. Colossians chapter 3 and verse 16. Teach us, though in the world of sin, heaven bless employment to begin, to sing our great Redeemer's praise and love his name and learn his ways. In God's word only do we trust, never in the tradition of men. His, a Philippian workman, a workman for God, a friend of Christ. Send out your light, or send out your knowledge. Let your light so shine before men that they may see your good works and glorify your Father which is in heaven. Matthew chapter 5 and verse 16. And here we are, brethren, in the middle of the week. The fourth work day of the week. Take time now. Spend the time to study your Bible, which is, which day is the Sabbath? Really, the Lord cares whether you follow him or Baal. Following Baal will lead right to Gehenna, the Valley of Fire. Look it up. It's not me saying so. It's your Bible. It's your word. It's a letter to you. So, brethren, if you've been following the wrong path, that broad path of destruction, get down on your knees and repent. Ask the Father and His Son for forgiveness for not believing in or not studying 
their letter to you. And with that, brethren, we're going to close it for today. You all have a great and wonderful day. I know I will, and God willing, we'll see you tomorrow. Bye for now.